Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Jeremiah chapter 32, beginning at verse 26 and ending at verse 44. This is the New King James Version. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, saying, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I will give this city into the hand of the Chaldeans, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and ye shall take it. And the Chaldeans who fight against this city shall come and set fire to this city and burn it with the houses on whose roofs they have offered incense to Baal and poured out drink offerings to other gods to provoke me to anger. Because the children of Israel and the children of Judah have done only evil before me from their youth. For the children of Israel have provoked me only to anger with the work of their hands, says the Lord. For this city has been to me a provocation of my anger and my fury from the day that they built it, even to this day. So I will remove it from before my face because of all the evil of the children of Israel and the children of Judah, which they have done to provoke me to anger. They, their kings, their princes, their priests, their prophets, the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And they have turned to me the back and not the face, though I taught them rising up early and teaching them, yet they have not listened to receive instruction, but they set their abominations in the house, which is called by my name, to defile it. And they built the high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire to Molech, which I did not command them, nor did it come into my mind that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin." Now, therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning this city of which you say, it shall be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon by the sword, by the famine and by the pestilence. Behold, I will gather them out of all countries where I have driven them in my anger, in my fury and in great wrath. I will bring them back to this place and I will cause them to dwell safely. They shall be my people and I will be their God. Then I will give them one heart and one way, that they may fear me forever, for the good of them and their children after them. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them, that I will not turn away from doing them good, but I will put my fear in their hearts, so that they will not depart from me. Yes, I will rejoice over them to do them good, and I will assuredly plant them in this land with all my heart and with all my soul. For thus says the Lord, just as I have brought all this great calamity on this people, so I will bring on them all the good that I have promised them, and fields will be bought in this land of which you say, It is desolate without man or beast. It has been given into the hand of the Chaldeans. Men will buy fields for money, sign deeds, and seal them, and take witnesses in the land of Benjamin, in the places around Jerusalem, in the cities of Judah, in the cities of the mountains, in the cities of the lowland, and in the cities of the south. I will cause their captives to return, says the Lord. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.